everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're going over some Avengers Infinity War action figures, Iron Man, Iron Spider, and Thor from Marvel Legends. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Now let's get to it. The Iron Man helmet head sculpt is not that great to me. It isn't glued in properly all the way. There are seams everywhere and the blue kind of detracts from it. doesn't look that great. It's a shame because it could be a great Iron Man figure if it weren't for this. You swivel over here and then up and down. Also a little bit of pivot and it's just okay. The body sculpt is amazingly done. Mostly done in a cherry metallic red kind of. Hole in the back by the way for later on. You get a lot of gold too. A little bit of blue here and there. The arc reactor is really nicely done on this piece up here. You just swivel and then back and forth, a little bit of pivot here and there. You get up pretty far in the arm and down and then all the way around. You get a swivel over here as well with a double jointed elbow that doesn't really want to work that well. Going up this far with a swivel and then down and then up and it works out really well for this Iron Man. The legs are really nice too. Reminded me of like a muscle texture over here with a lot of striations going on. You get out this far and in and up this far and back, not really that far. Double jointed knee working out really nicely over here. Here with a swivel up here, no swivel down here, then down and up, and then a pivot with two pegos upon the feet. One of my favorite costumes if it weren't for the head. He also comes with the requisite blasters and hands for them. They look really nice and super cool. You just get a swivel, that's it, and that's it for this swivel as well. And they also work nicely for jet boosters. Those hands also work in conjunction with this sleeve portion that is awesome. Really nicely done for this and looks super neat. It does fit on a certain way with this piece that's sort of bowed out fits on his elbow. Meanwhile, the piece of the chunk out of it fits over here by his bicep. So yeah, it's super awesome. But not only does he come with two, he can also fire his blast from them. Super awesome. He also comes with a shield that easily clips onto his arm really nicely and off, unlike most Marvel Legends clips, but it is very flimsy in a way and doesn't really fully fit around his arm. So you want to have another hand there to brace it all. But the best part about this Iron Man are the laser satellite blaster things that hover around him and just fire laser lasers at bad guys, or Thanos in this case, working out really nice with a peg that goes on his back. And here's Iron Man with them on his back. It looks really awesome, and I don't think I've taken this piece off until this review. Yeah, it's that cool. And here's Iron Man kitted out with all his accessories. Man, he's pretty awesome and super special. I love this one. This Spider-Man head sculpt has a really nice texture to it. I love this thing so much. I never noticed it until I looked at it up close with this camera. Really wonderful. I do also love these eyes. They're done really well. Very nice. A little bit of paint issues over here and there, but all in all, it's pretty good. You just swivel and then an up and then down. I don't really mind the lack of web line. I'm used to it anyways. The body is your standard Spider-Man looking really nice. I love how this looks. The texturing is insane on this piece. It's all like little tiny dappled pieces. It's like a comic book almost. It's wonderful. Get a butterfly joint over here that works out pretty well. Get up this far and down. I was going to swivel all the way around. You get a swivel over here as well as double jointed elbows that are pinned sadly and down with swivel and then hinge working out pretty pretty okay over there. You get a crunch back and a crunch forward. Crunch back doesn't look that great though. You get a swivel over here as well for the waist. It's a pretty nice figure for Spider-Man with some cool spider emblems everywhere and just some great paint all around. The legs continue with this insane texturing looking really awesome and super cool. I love how this all looks over here. It's just really nicely done with the gold, blue, and red. You get out this far and in and then up this far and back. Pretty okay all the way back. Really nicely for that. And we get a swivel up here and no swivel down here and a down and an up and a pivot with two pay goals the bottom of the feet. A really great Spider-Man, but not as good as what's coming up next. This Spider-Man has the same head, the same body, and everything. Well, not everything. We have these gauntlets on here that are pretty cool. The gold's also updated, looking really nice over here. And it's a much nicer looking figure than the previous Spider-Man. But the big difference is these Waldos. These are wonderful. These little legs, they're super awesome and really well done. You get nice articulation out of them too, with swivels as well as hinges, working out pretty well over here. It's really great. Great. I love these pieces. They're so cool. All of them. They all have nice articulation and are just wonderful for Spider-Man. They can't really hold him up, but I gotta say, they make him look intimidating like he usually isn't. This Iron Spider also comes with a Peter Parker head. Really nicely done. I also moved the Waldos down so you can see it much better. The hair sculpt looks really nice, but the face sculpt is quintessential Tom Holland, Peter Parker, whatever you want to call it. It's better than the previous ones and future ones that I've seen from this. Swivel over here is up and down over there. 
there. Some nice pivot. Just excellent. I'll never get rid of it. And here's Infinity War Iron Man and both Iron Spiders next to each other looking awesome. With Iron Man standing at about six and a half inches tall or so. With Iron Spider 1 sitting around five and three quarters inches tall. And Iron Spider 2 sitting at the same height. But also the Waldos are at about seven and a quarter inches tall looking awesome together. One casual Iron Spider and one in action Iron Spider. And also here's Jesse Heck Creative. Ugh. Mm. Ugh, this is awful. It's like some kind of terrible finger trap. Ugh, this is the last time I go shopping in Stark Town. Hello everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. This Infinity War Thor head sculpt looks really nice. I love the eye patch. It's super awesome with a little scratch on it too. It isn't really painted that well on the side, but oh well. I do love the lightning bolt coming out of his eyeball looking awesome. And the head sculpt is really sweet to see. The hair is really nice too. Goes back, goes forward, gets a tiny bit of pivot with a little bit of swivel. Nice Thor head sculpt, but not really on the mark to the likeness. The body has crackling electricity coming out of these nipples i'm not sure what they are but they look really cool very nicely done on that the biceps are awesome and the little our guards down here the armor guards are really cool to see you do get up and down and all the way around you get a swivel over here with a double joint elbow over there working out really nice actually for that swivel over here with an in and an out and you also get a swivel over here with the in and an out as well really nice for this thor and looking awesome the back's kind of bland but you do get a swivel up here and back and forward and pretty nice and the legs for Thor are pretty standard. We have and are going to see them throughout this Marvel Legends MCU line, but they are pretty cool. Get it out and an in and up and a back. Just standard stuff. All the way back with some silver down here. Wow, actual pain. Get a swivel over here and a pivot over here with a down and then an up. Working out pretty okay for that. And two pegels upon the feet. Not the best Thor. Not really my favorite, but he's pretty okay, all things considered. He also comes with a sword. It was kind of a pain to get his hands open to make it work, but this is a nice sword and we'll see it a few more times as far as Marvel Legends goes. The one from Ragnarok, yeah, it's okay in this iteration, I guess. This Thor head sculpt is nice, but it doesn't really hit the mark for me. The beard coloring is just weird and the hair looks strange. The eyes are weird because of that weird cybernetic thing. They didn't need to cut his eye out for the last film. It was kind of weird. He has a scar over here that changes from figure to figure, kind of. It looks really cool, though, and this is kind of my definitive Thor. Very nice looking. His head goes back and forward with a little bit of pivot and some switch. It's a nice head for Thor, but not my personal favorite. The body, however, is very classic Thor and looking really awesome. I love the arm guards over here. They're really nice and they're just super cool. Compared to the other Thor, this is just great. The cape is nice too, with this black portion going down. Going all the way down with the cape looking really nice with all the little wrinkles in it, as well as the inside looking nice too. It's wonderful. You get a swivel over here and back and forward and side to side. You also get up this far and down. Not really that far. You get a swivel all the way around. You get a swivel up there. Double joint elbow that won't really want to work but it's pretty good actually you get a swivel over here too with an in and out and on this one you get a swivel over here too with an in and out very nice for Thor and the legs the exact same thing as the previous Thor you just saw I'm not really gonna go into it much except I like this paint way better on here this Thor however comes with the best variation of Stormbreaker I've ever seen I love this piece it's beautiful the paint is really nice on it the sculpt is phenomenal all those little wrapping pieces going all the way around up there makes it look excellent the axe head is phenomenal Phenomenal and perfect and basically this version of Thor is wonderful and the electricity you can wrap around Stormbreaker is very nicely done over here Although we will be seeing this piece a lot. It still is pretty cool This isn't my favorite one of it I could use less teal in this and a little more white, but it's a nice piece And here's an evolution of Thor's from Infinity War over here to Endgame over here And I gotta say I think this one's the best out of all of them This one's pretty nice too and this one's really good as well. They all look great Which one do you think is best? Let me know in the comments below and this Thor also has outstretched hands. We've seen them before, though. You get a swivel and then a hinge on them. They're kind of rubbery and weird, but you can give him lightning hands, too, and that's just super awesome, looking great for this figure. Here are both Infinity War Thors next to Heimdall from Infinity War, and they look really nice together, actually, pretty much in scale. Thor stands at about, I would say, six and three quarters inches tall. All this Thor over here stands at about the same height, and they look all great. And also, here's Jesse Heck Creative. By the power of your sword, your axe, and my lightning, 
gardening hands that I just randomly acquired, we can surely barbecue, um, help that old lady across the street. Overall, I love these figures, Infinity. Aside from the helmet sculpt, everything is perfect. An amazing figure that is probably the best Iron Man to date. Iron Spider is really cool. He's even cooler with the Waldos, and even if they don't really hold him up that well, or articulate as well as I'd want them to, he's still an amazingly done figure. I patch Thor has a great head sculpt for boring everything else. I do like the lightning bolts on him though, and the sword is pretty alright as well, but it's mostly reuse. The Wakanda battle Thor is amazing though. Stormbreaker is a really cool sculpt. I love the body as well as the cape, and everything about him just screams awesomeness. If you're a fan of Marvel, Marvel Studios, or Infinity War, I highly recommend these figures. They're all awesome. But make no mistake, if you're mad that you don't have these now, you're probably seeing red. So which figure is your favorite? Iron Man, Iron Spider, or Thor? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also visit us at jessieheckcreative.com for more reviews like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and keep being creative. Stay tuned.